Hi, welcome to PMP webinar. I am CMR Chandra MR, a certified ITIL professional, ITIL expert, ITIL managing professional, PMP, Prince2, COVID-Fi, and DevOps. Today, we are going to look at understanding what is PMP certification is all about, why anyone should go for PMP certification, and how PMP certification helps the practitioners, and who should go for PMP certifications. So coming back to the first topic, what is PMP certification? So as we know, PMP, the Project Management Professional Certification, which is globally recognized certification, which has a credentials to have for any project management professionals. So this particular certification is owned by Project Management Institute and they manage, they control the topics and details of this particular subject, the product of PMI. So this is the globally acknowledged professional certification program in project management that legalizes a professional education, experience, skills, and competency that is required to lead in direct projects. A project management professional who is doing a project without having a certification, becoming successful in doing project management is all okay, but the success in the project by aligning to the best practices and standards which is recognized globally will provide the better platform for the professionals and do a project better and achieve the results as intended objectives of the projects being handled. So why should anyone go for PMP certification? So as we know, it is globally recognized certifications. At the same time, it is a certification which can be applied to any kind of projects. May it be construction project, may it may be a consultancy, an education project, a retail, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, finance, IT, aviation, manufacturing. It is not just this particular best practice it can be followed in any specific industry, but however, it is proven in all the industries. So it is not limited to any specific domain. And everyone who is into various different domains aspiring for becoming project managers in that area, this certifications would be useful. So again, PMP certification is recognized worldwide and accepted across. The roots of PMI, even though it has from US, it is well recognized across the globe. So PMP certification helps in terms of providing the bigger picture, the holistic picture of the project management process. So this involves 10 knowledge areas, five process groups, and 49 processes. So by having that holistic view, one can visualize the project end-to-end. -end. It is very essential for any project manager to have an end-to-end -end visibility of the project as we do in any of the initiatives what we take, like while constructing a house, a building, firstly, we will have a blueprint. So now when we have a blueprint, it will provide us a full details of it, end-to-end -end visibility. Similarly, for any projects we take up, the end-to-end -end visibility should be there. PMP certification has that thought which is enabled for those who undergo training as well as certification. Why that holistic picture is very important is understood. This will also provide a proven framework, a framework having 10 knowledge areas, five process groups, and 49 processes, as I mentioned earlier, which will help in terms of understanding how project will progress, what a project manager should do while handling a project, while managing a project. So this holistic picture, maybe bigger picture, a bird's eye view, but however, someone should work on the activities on ground as well. So to connect the dots, it's very essential to have that holistic picture and a specified framework, which is flexible as well, so that you can customize the way you require in your organization's environment, right? So any projects which is being done has to be done in stages. So this certification, this knowledge, what one acquire helps in leading the projects through its various stages of life cycle. So understanding of why the project should have a stages and what happens within that stage and also visualizing the project end to end. So this can be done. This understanding can happen while anyone go for the certification of PMP. PMI provides a cohesive overview of the project which helps in better management. So we speak about 10 knowledge area when we look at PMP, PMI's framework. So we speak about integration management, scope management, cost management, schedule management, resource management, quality management, risk management, stakeholder management, communication management, procurement management. 
so when we look at this 10 knowledge areas it is providing the connect or visibility towards all those specific knowledge areas which needs to be considered while doing the project management so it is not that i can ignore some of this and i can only consider some of those so all the 10 needs to be considered so interestingly pmp framework has nine knowledge areas which will provide basically nine subsidiary plans so these nine subsidiary plans will get integrated in integration management so other than project integration management what i mentioned like scope cost time resource risk quality communication stakeholder and procurement the plan of each of these knowledge areas will be called as a subsidiary plans so all of this will get consolidated in integration management as a project plan an integrated project plan in a way project manager is also called as an integrator because project manager should have a holistic picture and also come on ground at the activity level monitor and manage the project throughout the life cycle of the project so this framework will give that visibility so that project manager can become more effective effective in terms of decision making and comprehend the best practices all the time so that the results of the project can achieve the objectives as intended who should go for project management professional certification so now pmi makes it very clear someone cannot understand what his project is all about unless they are into it so pmp sets up certain prerequisites criteria before anyone goes for pmp certification the project managers who are practicing the project management at certain level may not be project manager themselves the role type may be a leading a project in any different roles in the project itself or a project manager who does not carry any certifications i mean in project management one can go for the certification business analyst who is aspiring to become a project manager can also opt for this similarly delivery managers so when we say delivery managers usually we visualize about the people who are doing the day-to-day -day operations of certain services now this also involves a transition transition which means the projects for improvement so these are can be handled as a project so delivery managers should also require to have the capability of project management which helps them doing it better similarly program managers so when we say program managers first we should have a correct understanding about what is program so program refers to grouping of projects together which are related in certain way so why would we group it to handle it together so that resources can be optimized cost can be optimized standardizations can be brought in quality management can be integrated resources can be shared so for effective program management a program manager should have a clear understanding about what is the project is all about what is project management is all about what are the dynamics associated with the project only then the person in the program management can become successful so doing pmp would also complement to the role program manager associate project manager who would be part of any projects working with the project manager so it is quite obvious even though the authority in the project perspective is with project manager so associate project manager will have a significant role to play which involves working with project manager and project teams as well as other leads with the project so associated project manager should also have the clarity visibility towards what project management is all about and what are the dynamics associated with it so qualification criteria prerequisites for appearing in pmp examination is divided into two parts mainly so one is for those who has graduate degree they need to have experience of leading and directing project which is around 4500 hours and 35 hours of project management education and training so when i say 4500 hours approximately it would be around three years it would come but that can be done in the past recent past eight years similarly if you look at the people who are not graduates who hold high school diploma along with an associated degree so for them it is five years of leading and directing projects which comes around 7500 hours of project management experience along with 35 hours of project management education and training so now when we say this 35 hours of project management education and training this is a formal training the person would undergo the learner would undergo from a registered education provider like edureka so they will undergo the pmp training for 35 contact hours and edureka would issue the certificate telling that the so and so has attended the training for so many days along with the dates 
with that certificate is a proof to say that you have formally undergone the training on pmp from a registered education provider so that also need to be produced while applying for pmp that's it about understanding what is pmp certification is all about why should anyone go for pmp certification and what are the prerequisites the qualifications requirement for appearing in pmp examination and who can become project managers who can go for the certifications i hope this provided some quick insights about project management professional certifications offered by pmi thank you very much for being here so for more information please check the link in the description box below all the best thank you and take care see you again until we attend on more webinar session